it's my birthday and I'm in one of my favorite places in California and I'm so excited to share this this week. Welcome back to Adventuring with Angie. Last week I went hard with my winter prep, I cozied up in the house, and I got myself out into the town. This week is my birthday and I have such a fun adventure planned that I literally cannot wait to share this. But first, we have to dive into the days leading up to this event. Let's get into it. In the six months that I've lived in these woods, I wake up every day to an entirely new reality different than the one I just left. The air at 3,100 feet is colder and drier than I'm used to. My mornings these days start with thick socks, feeding a fire, and gathering extra wood. My evenings are spent cooking, cleaning, and alternating between personal work or seeing friends. During my downtime, I find myself mesmerized by the nature on my land, often just sitting outside until time asks me to return to the next task. And when I need supplies or to interact with humans, I make the steep and windy drive into town. Good morning. Oh. I'm still sick. Um, it's cold, but I should go bring my trash. Sometimes I hear myself say, I never imagined I'd be doing this, but that's not entirely true. I actually always imagined I'd live somewhere that encourages rest and recovery, surrounds me with beauty, and creates space and opportunity to learn and grow. I just never actually imagined that I'd say goodbye to the former life of mine. We're going back to the cave. That I'd walk away from the comforts of the city and the distractions it offered and cut the ties that held me so rigidly to this one idea of living. This week I turned 34 and it has not been easy to get here. I had to let go of a lot, physically, mentally. I had to trust that every time I said no to something, it was so that I could say yes elsewhere and that there'd actually be somewhere else to give that yes to. I had to envision a world different than the one I was in and move like that world already existed for me. And even now, amidst my latest changes, my kitchen is a mess because I'm a mess today. I have to trust that I'm making the decisions that are best for me, even when they seem unimaginable to others. Mm -hmm. I was hungry. <laughs> freedom. Just pure freedom. <laughs> Good morning! Beep, 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 because your seatbelt's not on, baby. The week started off with a series of routine tasks and delicious meals, something I've come to love about living out here. Guess who got groceries? I did! <laughs> I found myself deep in reflection while moving through the chores. I don't know how many nights I eat fried rice, but that's what's happening right now. Can we just, a moment of honesty? This is my counter right now. Like, and by the time Thursday rolled around, I was excited to work on the land and mentally prep for my weekend adventures. Boy is dropped. I'm free. <laughs> this is my office for the day, everyone. We are getting all this wood into the back of that car and bringing her all the way around to the storage. <laughs> when do we take a break? I don't know. Long sleeve, because I'm tired of cutting up my arms. Looking cute enough. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. One load loaded. Let's go drive it around. Come on. Let's go do this. Oh my god, this is my... This is my car. <laughs> Who wants to get me a truck? Load number two. Let's do it. Oh my God, it's so nice outside. It's starting to warm up or I'm starting to warm up. Y'all wanna stack some wood with me? 
After hours of me stacking and oval splitting wood, we took a moment to sit on the porch and enjoy a birthday joint. We've both been so busy with winter prep at our own homes, it was nice to actually hang for a bit and not do work. Oh my gosh, okay, so it's cold out and I haven't ran since I dislocated my knee like two-ish weeks ago, so um, we're gonna try. Gotta start somewhere, right? <laughs> After all of that stacking yesterday, I just had to run. That was okay. And as if the universe is really just out here for me, a friend in town texted to invite me to the river to relax and ground this afternoon. I had no intention of getting in the water because the sun would be setting in about an hour and it was already just shy of 60 degrees, but everything changed when I sat by the river. I offered to lead us in some breath work and in those few minutes, I started to think deeply about the last two years of my life, the changes I've made and the dreams I finally voiced out loud. Sitting on the rocks, I could feel that something was anchoring me to an outdated version of myself, and I'm afraid to let it go. The freezing waters looked like the perfect physical container to explore what I was feeling internally. I knew I needed to get uncomfortable, to remind myself that I can do hard things, and to find comfort in all of the discomfort of this life. I sank into the icy current and let my breath anchor me while the water lent its strength. I asked my guides to stand with me through the next change, and something told me it would be happening very quickly. I did not bring a swimsuit because I explicitly said I'm not getting in the water today and then jokes on me because we got in the water. <laughs> I woke up ready to take on the world Saturday, which really just meant I was gonna clean and pack for my trip, but the universe had some other plans in mind. In a fluke accident, Enzo ripped his toenail down the middle, causing a tear to his nerve tendons and requiring immediate surgery. With my birthday trip happening in less than 24 hours, I felt like I was in such a jam. I took Enzo mm -hmm. to the vet and racked my brain with how to make tomorrow happen. I obviously can't leave him with the sitter anymore because he needs medication twice a day and is gonna be a little Little out of it and sedated and I really didn't want to cancel so I did maybe what anyone would do in this situation I called my ex I know I know I know <laughs> oh I know I know more now than I did then Without hesitation, Presh came up to care for Enzo post-surgery and I was able to pack Saturday night and go on my trip Sunday morning I wish I could be you you would have been the first person I invited. I am on my way to go kayak camping in Tamales Bay. I'm so excited. <laughs> I am meeting up with five friends. Well, to be honest, four friends and a friend of a friend. Five people though, I'm really excited. And I have a little day planned for us. I have a three hour journey to get to the coast. Once I get to the coast, I'm gonna eat oysters and then I'm going to paddle out against the current <laughs> and hopefully make it to our beach cove without incident. I'm really excited. I am. Um, I've wanted to do this for years. So this year and I thought, what do you want to do for your birthday? And I said, girl, I want to go camping on Tomorrow's Bay. Per my request, we indulge in a ton of food from Nick's Cove to start our adventure. Do you eat this one? I have never. I have committed to try one. Okay. You can try one. Yeah. You can try one. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Well, it's not mean, but I'll take it. There's still. Welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Just the two of you? Yeah. Okay. That's okay, you know what? Everybody who needs to be here is here. <laughs> birthday crew, birthday vibes, we are just about ready. We're just having Oliver's gonna pack up in the car. Oliver, what's your ETA? I can't even hear me. Wish us luck because you can see my hair is moving, the wind is in. I love your orange hat. <laughs> Um, okay, so far it's great. <laughs> um, Chronicles from the Water, it is choppy and my arms are tired, but we're doing it and I'm gonna hustle so I can get there before the sun sets. Paddling the two ish miles across the bay was harder than I imagined, but everyone in the group made it and seeing our beach as the sun started to set felt more divine than I expected. 
I absolutely love that these friends made it out for me. I only texted them last week and originally planned to do the whole thing alone, but something told me to be with friends. And after yesterday, I am so glad that I'm not here by myself. Oh, look at this little camping village. This is like the most beautiful, the most magical, just like <sighs> unreal thing. I've wanted to do this for so long and to be in such a beautiful place and have a beautiful day and this beautiful calm bay and my sweet, sweet friends just like down for this adventure, especially after the week. Oh my gosh, it's my birthday. <laughs> I get to sleep here tonight and I get to wake up here tomorrow. On Monday morning, Fred and Unica had to dip early to get back to the city, so Nakura, Oliver, and I enjoyed a lazy morning paddle across the calm waters of the bay. Goodbye, beach. Goodbye, quail and herons and all the other birds and the hawk. Goodbye, hawk in the tree. Oh my god. Wow. Looks like a mushroom cap. Where are we at? Ugh. Ah, ah, Look. right? That's cool. Oh, there's another little one right here. All oh, these birds. When we finally made it to the docks, we loaded our gear and made our way down the coast to enjoy an early lunch at the Marshall store. This is a great way to wake up 34. I hope this is like setting the tone and intention for the rest of this year. I want to be outside. I want to be active. I want to be with people who get me. I want to connect. I want to ground. And I just want to explore all sides of me without judgment. Couldn't make it an official birthday in Tamales if I did not go to my favorite spot. You already know where I'm going. If you know me, you already know where I'm going. Crush is the one who introduced me to this place. And while I hadn't thought of her since arriving on the coast, I'm thinking of her now. And returning to the house with her there is weighing on me. While I was eating, I realized that Enzo's accident, while inconvenient, is serving a huge Thank purpose. You, I realize now that I don't actually want this door open and I don't want any engagements with her, not even as a dog co-parent. It's just too painful, it's too hard, and it's too soon. Oh, buddy. What are you doing out here? I hear you go back in that fence. We're both still hurting, and I could see it before I left, and I can already feel it as I'm making my way home. I spent some time on the drive thinking about how I want to have this conversation, because it is a conversation that needs to be had. Thank you so much for joining for another week of adventures. If you enjoyed this week, please take a moment to like the video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss an episode. Next week, I'm attempting to drywall again. I get a visit and some help from two friends and decide to upgrade some things in the kitchen. I can't wait to share more and I'll see you next week. Bye.